up YouTube peoples is me again you know chilling about to play me some Xbox 360 you know about to shoot some people but I decided like yo since I got my iPhone all act upon 3.1 I thought I might drop you all a quick video you know some simple details and how to get it and some information which I will have over here is what I'm saying and then what I'll do is I'll give you all the links and all that good stuff okay so this is gonna be much shorter much quicker than the, the one that I did before so this is for the people with the 3GS alright my 3GS people you know we all up on the 3GS so we know what we're doing so anyway this is the details and how to jailbreak it 3.1 okay 3.1 on the 3GS alright simple all you're gonna need again all you're gonna need iTunes if you have your phone jailbreak already on 3.0.1 Good. If you don't have that done on 3.0.1, you might want to go back to my previous video and you want to follow that step, get your phone jailbreak to 3.0.1, then come back to this video, alright? So if you already got it in 3.1, jailbreak, insidia, install, all of that crap, good. So you're going to need iTunes 9.0.1, which is the regular new up-to-date one, alright? You're not going to need quick pointer or any of that, so you're pretty good. What you want to do now, you're going to go to the website which I'll provide on the side. You want to get the custom firmware. You can do it for both ways. Either um, you want to get it for either non at and customers or at and customers. Alright, this is how you're going to do it. So, you're going to go to iPhoneFix.de. David Edward. I'll put the link in the, on the, over here as well. Alright. When you go to that link, you're going to click on the link, which I'll give you the directions. When you click on that link, you will follow it, you will see an FTP server. You're going to log on to the FTP server, all right? When you log on to the FTP server, oh, hold on, hold on. Modern Warfare is, is crazy, man. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, when you go to that website, all right, and you're going to go to the FTP site, you're going to follow it, you're going to click, you're going to go in. You're going to see System Custom Firmware, okay? You're going to click on the Custom Link, when you click on that link and you get in, now what you're going to do is you're going to download the custom firmware for iPhone 3GS, which is iPhone 2.3.1. All right? I'm going to show you all right now. Hold on. Let me get on this web real quick. So I'm going to do a quick, quick web to browse real quick. It's going to take me just a few seconds because I have it safe. Okay. iPhone. Dot iPhone fix dot de all right so I'm gonna give you all of the quick snippet this is the the website all right this is the website you're gonna go to iPhone fix dot de you're gonna go over here to the right you're gonna click on the link to the right you're gonna come down here you will see a FTP link right here you're gonna click on this FTP link right it will bring you directly to their server okay this is their server. As you can see, I'm recording directly from my iPhone 3GS. All right, you're gonna click on this right here. Firmware system custom, you click on that, all right? Then you're gonna look for the one for the iPhone, right? It is this one. iPhone 2.1 custom restore non-activated. That's for the AT&T customers, all right? All AT&T customers use this one. For non-AT&T customer, you want to use this because this one will activate for you this one you won't act in in itunes will activate it for you all right so you want to click on that one download it as you can see i'm using firefox which is the right pro one to use to download all these firmwares all right so let me exit back out of that that's my desktop yeah i like that so whatever back to me now all right so now what you are going to do after you download that firmware you want to go into make sure iTunes open up, detect your iPhone and all of that, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to turn off your iPhone because you got to put your phone in restore mode, not DFU mode, restore mode. So you're going to turn your iPhone off completely, right? When you turn it off, you're going to unplug your USB card from the iPhone. When you unplug it, then you're going to hold on the home button, right? with iTunes 9.0.1 open. Hold down the home button, then you push the USB cable back in. When you push that cable back in, keep holding down the home button, you will see it flash in the screen if you hear the pum pum sound, whatever all that sound. Yeah, I know I think I said some Jamaican word, but forget about it. 
So you're going to hear that sound on your computer. Then when it goes, iTunes will detect it and the message will pop up. Then on your phone, you will see the USB and the iTunes logo. You have to see that. If you don't see that, your phone might be in DFU mode. But that's an easy way to do it. It puts your phone in restore mode in about 15 seconds. All right, then when you see that now, you go into iTunes. Once again, PC people, shift, click restore. Search for the non-activated, that firmware that I told you how to download for AT&T customer, the regular one for non-AT&T carriers, all right? You click on that. It will do the regular restore like it always does. It will back up your phone and all of that. It's going to run through. Just let it do everything. Once it's finished now, it's going to do you know, all that stuff. It's going to act if you want to back up your phone. You can select backup, select new phone, whatever. It's up to you. I don't care which one you do. All right, so you back up your file, do whatever, you set it up as a new phone, it's up to you. All right? And remember, this is only if you have your phone in 3.0.1 already jailbroken. All right? So when you do that now, it will come up on the desktop. You will have Cydia already pre-installed, probably with IC. I don't really use IC. I only use Cydia. But anyway, you're going to have that. That's going to be pre-installed on your phone. You're going to be good to go. All right? I promise you, this works because I'm recording from my phone. I got everything on here. I'm going to put two pictures on my thing as well. I'm going to link it to my, um, I'm going to put it, upload the pictures on a, in photo bucket and then you all can click on the link and see the photos from my phone. All right. For all those people on Xbox, you want to hit me up. It's the wrong man. All right. I'm going to leave the link on there too. Come on Xbox, play some Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Let's bug out. You know what I'm saying? To all my iPhone people on YouTube, I want to say peace. And as we see in Jamaica, yo, the link on the later. Yeah, the iPhone geek out. Lego.